it is another absolutely beautiful day here in Accra, Ghana. Just the scenery. Ghana is paradise. People don't want to believe me. If you have not come and experienced it, you're missing out. I highly recommend it. Put it on your bucket list. Put some money aside every single month and make it a dream destination to come and explore. I know a lot of people have been asking me, they want to see what the center business districts so or the CBD of Ghana looks like. So I thought, why not do a double video where I can drive through, show you the central business district to show you all the massive developments that are going on and everything that is really progressing drastically in Accra and then on top of it take you to one of the most expensive hotels in Ghana. So there's three five-star, true five-star hotels in Ghana. It's the Marriott, Movenpick and Kapinski. I have done tours on all of them in the past, but it's been a year or two. So here we're going to go to the Movenpick Ambassadors Hotel. This is when the American First Lady, when European delegacy, the delegates and everyone come to visit Accra. This is where they stay. The security is tip top and they have the biggest pool, hotel pool in the whole of Ghana. It is absolutely massive. If you swim in one direction, I think it's more than 50 meters. You will see it, it's absolutely beautiful. So I've got my swimming costume, I've got my goggles. I'm definitely gonna do some cardio and then at the same time, just be able to explore and show you all the beauty that you can find inside Ghana, inside Africa, show you the development, show you that it is not poor, show you how it is absolutely thriving and just keep on spreading positivity. So let's jump into the video, join the family and just sit back, relax and see the beauty that Ghana has to offer. We have arrived at the beautiful Movenpick Ambassadors Hotel and let's just take a moment to take it all in. You can also pay to use this pool, it's 150 per person during the week and 200 on weekends. But there's beautiful palm trees that just surround the whole area. You can see not a cloud in the sky, beautiful greenery. The city is, you're literally in the hub of the city. And as I can see, say, you see this massive wraparound pool, which is really, really beautiful. So we have all of our things now in some nice cotton clothing, which is really, really good for this weather. So there's quite busy actually right now. So we're hoping we can find a place to sit. There's also some restaurants and that around the corner, some cocktail bars, change room. There's also apartments in the back that if people want to spend the money and actually live at the hotel, they're able to too. But we are just going to go find some shade, get some swimming in some streets and snacks but you can see really really beautiful especially all the palm trees that go around and then they even got some Christmas decorations out and you're greeted with the massive entrance of the hotel with the moven pick at the top so all in all really really beautiful but time to go get in the pool the spot I chose is pretty good we were able to get an umbrella put up right next to the lifeguard tower blocking out the Sun 
So my essentials I have is a water because it's like 36 degrees, some SPF 50 because my pale skin just cannot handle the sun. Of course, sunglasses. And then this is a new book that I'm reading. I haven't got it far enough in it. I'm only on the second law because it's the 48 laws of power, each broken into a chapter. It's like the number one bestseller year after year after year. So I decided, let me give it a try. So I'm like two and a half chapters into the book, but you can see what I said with the whole Moven Pick Hotel in the background. It's absolutely beautiful. And then you can even sit in the grass and they have a conference center being built up there, I presume, for like the Christmas and the New Year period. So my initial anticipation was to be able to swim from here all the way to that end and then back again, because each way is around 50 meters, but it's a little bit busy right now. And I don't want to be the guy that throws goggles on, throws a little speedo on and then jumps in the pool. So I'm going to wait until it clears down a little bit, but I'm quite content here. Got my glasses, got my water, got my book. My dad's just, you can actually see him on the far side of the pool, working, walking around. We're sitting here, very close to each other, but you know, we've got to escape the sun, but a very, very beautiful setting and just feeling full of gratitude and very thankful. The one thing that I really love about the Moven Peak, not only is it an absolutely beautiful setup, but it's all the people that you meet in the area and around the pool. There were so many people from the diaspora, whether they be Canadian, French, American, living in the UK, there's just such a amazing mix and balance of people that it's super super lovely i just grabbed a beer right now as i said it's a bad day to be a beer because it's just beautiful weather and hello there yeah. very good thanks in yourself that? and everyone is just super friendly and i'm just loving being here me and my dad grabbed a beer just sipping on that and now i'm waiting for the pool to clear up a little bit i'm gonna go get some swimming but you can see what is the time like hot past four and it's around 35 degrees and everyone is just loving life not a unhappy looking face in the whole area so let's get back let's enjoy all the description will be in the information box below if you want to come and check it out even just come and sit by the pool and get into the spirit of things i highly highly recommend it So we have just finished up now spending the day at the pool. It was a really, really beautiful day. Now we're gonna go pick my mom up from work and then head home to the other side of the city, which will be really great because then I can show you the whole other side where it's all super developed and everything. But thank you so much to the Moven Pick for letting us come, letting us stay, check out their facilities. It's always a great place. Everyone loves it that comes here. It's ranked out of all the top five star hotels in Ghana. It's ranked the highest with a 4.7 when I checked this morning on the 21st, 22nd of December, whichever date. We are, no one ever complains here. We love it so much. The fact that you're in the hustle and bustle of the city, but still it's so tranquil. As you can see, there's so much greenery. So let's go through, let's go see the other side of the city and showcase everything it has to offer for you guys. Traffic in Ghana is always crazy, especially this time of year, as you can see on the video. But super nice when we're leaving, we're given this package from the Movenpick. So you can see Movenpick Ambassadors Hotel Accra. 
and then opening it inside lovely little christmas goodies it also came with like a big bow and a let and everything really really great over here it was a keychain we already put it on the car keys the usb stick a really really nice pen actually like very sturdy you can see very very nice especially in like the the rose gold type finish business cards also like a hard finish and then a really really nice diary which will definitely be taking full advantage of and it's like also an animal heart on the outside daily planner and then just a thermo flask these are great for hot and cold drinks and everything also really really nice so just a small little little present but super super appreciative of it it has been a really amazing day and we're thinking what is a great way for us to end off this day so i thought first for things first i've got to put on my favorite Ghanaian shirt because i still have like these linen trousers that i've been wearing at the pool because it's just so free it's so airing and everything and i think like they are very similar color to the linen here so i thought why not let's sew it on and then we're going to go to one of the restaurants that is very close to where we live it's also been one of our favorites it's just been taken under by the new owners new management so we thought let's go try it out of course it's a brilliant opportunity to take you all with and just showcase more of the amenities and things you can get from ghana and just keep on changing the narrative that ghana is not a poor country it has a lot to offer and there's something in this country for everyone so let's head to dinner and see what we're going to get So the place we're coming to is directly ahead, Bistro 22, it's absolutely lovely and then there's a whole new apartment block also that's gone up on the side and then there's banks and everything. If there's nothing in this restaurant you like also on the side you have a, a, a pavilion, I thought it was papillion, maybe it is papillion and then also all the way there's like ocean baskets down there, there's rockamamas and everything also you can choose from. So just in this little area here there's quite a few nice restaurants that you can choose to if you want to come so i'll leave it in the description definitely come check it out but this one is definitely our favorite We have just finished up now at the restaurant. It was really, really good. Probably the best meal I've had there in a very, very, very long time. So I highly recommend you come and check it out. It is a little bit on the higher end, but the quality, the service and everything you get is really, really great. So that is gonna conclude the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to join the family and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.